Italia, the Latin name for the Italian peninsula, was the homeland of the Romans and metropole of Rome's empire in classical antiquity. According to Roman mythology, Italy was the new home promised by Jupiter to Aeneas of Troy and his descendants, ancestors of the founders of Rome. Aside from the legendary accounts, Rome was an Italian city-state that changed its form of government from kingdom to republic and then grew within the context of a peninsula dominated by the Etruscans in the center, the Greeks in the south, and the Celts in the north. The consolidation of Italy into a single entity occurred during the Roman expansion in the peninsula, when Rome formed a permanent association with most of the local tribes and cities. The strength of the Italian alliance was a crucial factor in the rise of Rome, starting with the Punic and Macedonian Wars between the 3d and 2nd century BC. As provinces were being established throughout the Mediterranean, Italy maintained a special status which made it, not a province, but the domina ruler of the provinces. Such a status meant that Roman magistrates exercised the imperium domi police power within Italy, rather than the imperium militiae military power used abroad. Italy's inhabitants had Latin rights as well as religious and financial privileges. The period between the end of the 2nd century BC and the 1st century BC was turbulent, beginning with the Servile Wars, continuing with the opposition of aristocratic elite to reformers and even leading to a social war in the middle of Italy. However, Roman citizenship was recognized to the rest of the Italics by the end of the conflict and then extended to Cisalpine Gaul when Julius Caesar became Roman dictator. In the context of the transition from Republic to Principate, Italy swore allegiance to Octavian Augustus and was then organized in eleven regions from the Alps to the Ionian Sea. More than two centuries of stability followed, during which Italy was referred to as the Rectrix Mundi Queen of the World and Omnium Terrarum Perens Motherland of All Lands. Several emperors made notable accomplishments in this period. Claudius incorporated Britain into the Roman Empire, Vespasian subjugated the Great Revolt of Judea and reformed the financial system, Trajan conquered Dacia and defeated Parthia, and Marcus Aurelius epitomized the ideal of the philosopher king. The crisis of the 3rd century hit Italy particularly hard and left the eastern half of the empire more prosperous. Nevertheless, the islands of Corsica, Sardinia, Sicily and Malta were added to Italy by Diocletian in 292 AD, and Italian cities such as Milan and Ravenna continued to serve as capitals for the West. The Bishop of Rome gained importance during Constantine's reign and was given religious primacy with the Edict of Thessalonica under Theodosius I. Italy was invaded several times by the barbarians and fell under the control of Odoacer, when Romulus Augustus was deposed in 476 AD. In the 6th century, Italy's territory was divided between the Byzantine Empire and the Germanic peoples. After that, Italy remained divided until 1861, when it was reunited in the Kingdom of Italy, which became the present-day Italian Republic in 1946. Characteristics <laughs> 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 Following the end of the Social War in 88 BC, Rome had allowed its Italian allies full rights in Roman society and granted Roman citizenship to all the Italic peoples. After having been for centuries the heart of the Roman Empire, from the 3rd century the government and the cultural center began to move eastward. First, the Edict of Caracalla in 212 AD extended Roman citizenship to all free men within the imperial boundaries. Then, Christianity became the dominant religion during Constantine's reign 306 to 337, raising the power of other eastern political centers. Although not founded as a capital city in 330, Constantinople grew in importance. It finally gained the rank of eastern capital when given an urban prefect in 359 and the senators who were clari became senators of the lowest rank as clarissimi. As a result, Italy began to decline in favor of the provinces, which resulted in the division of the empire into two administrative units in 395, the Western Roman Empire, with its capital at Mediolanum now Milan, and the Eastern Roman Empire, with its capital at Constantinople now Istanbul. In 402, the capital was moved to Ravenna from Milan, confirming the decline of the city of Rome which was sacked in 410 for the first time in seven centuries. History The name Italia covered an area whose borders evolved over time. 
According to Strabo's Geographica, before the expansion of the Roman Republic, the name was used by Greeks to indicate the land between the Strait of Messina and the line connecting the Gulf of Salerno and Gulf of Taranto, corresponding roughly to the current region of Calabria. Later, the term was extended by Romans to include the Italian peninsula up to the Rubicon, a river located between northern and central Italy. In 49 BC, with the Lex Rocha, Julius Caesar gave Roman citizenship to the people of the Cisalpine Gaul, while in 42 BCE the hitherto existing province was abolished, thus extending Italy to the north up to the southern foot of the Alps. Under Augustus, the peoples of today's Aosta Valley and of the western and northern Alps were subjugated, so the western border of Roman Italy was moved to the Varus River, and the Italian eastern border was brought to the Arcia in Istria. Finally, in the late 3rd century, Italy came to include the islands of Corsica and Sardinia and Sicily, as well as Raetia and part of Pannonia to the north. The city of Amona modern Ljubljana, Slovenia, was the easternmost town of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Augustan organization At the beginning of the Roman imperial era, Italy was a collection of territories with different political statuses. Some cities, called municipia, had some independence from Rome, while others, the coloniae, were founded by the Romans themselves. Around 7 BC, Augustus divided Italy into eleven regiones, as reported by Pliny the Elder in his Naturalis Historia. Regio I Latium et Campania Regio II Apulia et Calabria Regio III Lucania et Brutium Regio IV Samnium Regio V Piscinum Regio v Umbria et Ager Gallicus Regio 7 Etruria Regio 8 Emilia Regio X Liguria Regio X Venetia et Histria Regio 11 Transpadanitali was privileged by Augustus and his heirs, with the construction, among other public structures, of a dense network of Roman roads. The Italian economy flourished, agriculture, handicraft and industry had a sensible growth, allowing the export of goods to the other provinces. The Italian population may have grown as well. Three census were ordered by Augustus, to record the number of Roman citizens throughout the empire. The surviving totals were 4,063,000 in 28 BC, 4,233,000 in 8 BC, and 4,937,000 in AD 14, but it is still debated whether these counted all citizens, all adult male citizens, or citizens sui iuris. Estimates for the population of mainland Italy, including Cisalpine Gaul, at the beginning of the 1st century range from 6 million according to Carl Julius Bellic in 1886, to 14 million according to Elio Lo Cassio in 2009. <laughs> Diocletian and Constantinian reorganizations During the crisis of the 3rd century the Roman Empire nearly collapsed under the combined pressures of invasions, military anarchy and civil wars, and hyperinflation. In 284, Emperor Diocletian restored political stability. He carried out thorough administrative reforms to maintain order. He created the so-called Tetrarchy whereby the empire was ruled by two senior emperors called Augusti and two junior vice-emperors called Caesars. He decreased the size of the Roman provinces by doubling their number to reduce the power of the provincial governors, make their job easier and governance more effective by controlling a smaller areas. He may have grouped the provinces into several dioceses Latin, dioceses under the supervision of the imperial vicarius vice, deputy, who were the head of the diocese there is a move to place the creation of dioceses to the year 313-14 by Constantine and Licinius after their meeting in Milan in February 313. During the crisis of the 3rd century the importance of Rome declined because the city was far from the troubled frontiers. Diocletian and his colleagues usually resided in four imperial seats. The Augusti, Diocletian and Maximian, who were responsible for the east and west respectively, established themselves at Nicomedia, in northwestern Anatolia closer to the Persian frontier in the east and Milan, in northern Italy closer to the European frontiers, respectively. The seats of the Caesars were Augusta Treverorum on the river Rhine frontier for Constantius Chlorus and Sirmium on the river Danube frontier for Galerius who also resided at Thessaloniki. Under Diocletian Italy became the Diocesis Italiciana. It included Raetia. It was subdivided the following provinces Liguria today's Liguria and western Piedmont Transpadana western Piedmont and Lombardy 
Raetia Eastern Switzerland, Western and Central Austria and part of Southern Germany Venetia et Histria today's Veneto, Friuli Venezia Giulia and Trentino Alto Adige Emilia Emilia Romagna Tusha Etruria at Umbria Tuscany and Umbria Flaminia Piscinum and the former Ager Gallicus in today's Marche Latium et Campania the coastal parts of Lazio and Campania Samnium Abruzzo Molise and Erpinia Apulia et Calabria today's Apulia Lucania et Brutium Basilicata and Calabria Sicilia Sicily and Malta Corsica et Sardinia Constantine subdivided the empire into four Praetorian prefectures. The Diocese Italiciana became the Praetorian Prefecture of Italy Prefectura Pretoria Italiae, and was subdivided into two dioceses. It still included Raetia. The two dioceses and their provinces were Diocese Italia Annanaria Italy of the Annana, its inhabitants had to provide the administration in Milan and the troops stationed in that city the Annana, food, wine and timber. Alps Cotier, modern Liguria and part of Piedmont. Liguria, western Lombardy and part of Piedmont. Venetia et Histria, Istria, which is now part of Croatia, Slovenia and Italy. Friuli Venezia Giulia, Trentino Alto Adige, Veneto and eastern and central Lombardy. Raetia I, eastern Switzerland and western Austria. Raetia II, central Austria and part of southern Germany. Emilia, the Emilia part of Emilia Romagna. Flaminia et Piscinum Annanarium Romagna and Northern Marche Diocese Italia Suburbicaria Italy under the government of the Herbs IE Rome Tusha Etruria at Umbria Tuscany Umbria and the northern part of coastal Lazio Piscinum Suburbicarium Piscino in Southern Marche Valeria Sabina the modern province of Rethi other areas of Lazio and areas of Umbria and Abruzzo Campania central and southern coastal Lazio and coastal Campania except for the modern province of Salerno Samnium Abruzzo, Molise and the mountain areas of modern Campania, i.e., the modern provinces of Benevento and Avellino and part of the province of Caserta Apulia et Calabria today's Apulia Lucania et Brutium modern Calabria, Basilicata and the province of Salerno in modern Campania Sicilia Sicily and Malta Sardinia Corsica Topic Western Roman Empire In 330 Constantine inaugurated Constantinople He established the imperial court a senate financial and judicial administrations as well as the military structures the new city, however, did not receive an urban prefect until 359 which raised it to the status of eastern capital after the death of Theodosius in 395 and the subsequent division of the empire Italy was part of the Western Roman Empire. As a result of Alaric's invasion in 402 the western seat was moved from Mediolanum to Ravenna. Alaric, king of Visigoths, sacked Rome itself in 410, something that hadn't happened for eight centuries. Northern Italy was attacked by Attila's Huns in 452. Rome was sacked in 455 again by the Vandals under the command of Genseric. According to Notitia Dignitatum, one of the very few surviving documents of Roman government updated to the 420s, Roman Italy was governed by a Praetorian prefect, Prefectus Praetorio Italiae, who also governed the Diocese of Africa and the Diocese of Pannonia, one Vicarius, and one comes Re Militaris. The regions of Italy were governed at the end of the 4th century by eight consulaires Venetiae et Histriae, Emiliae, Liguriae, Flaminiae et Piscinae Annanari, Tachae et Umbriae, Piscinae Suburbicari, Campaniae, and Siciliae, two correctors Apuliae et Calabriae and Lucaniae et Brutiorum and seven praesides Alpium Cotierum, Raetia Prima and Secunda, Samni, Valeriae, Sardiniae, and Corsicae. After the assassination of Valentinian III in 455 the puppet emperors were controlled by the barbarian generals. The western imperial government maintained control over Italy whose coasts were periodically under attack. In 476, with the abdication of Romulus Augustulus, the western Roman Empire had formally fallen unless one considers Julius Nepos, the legitimate emperor recognized by Constantinople as the last. He was assassinated in 480, he was regarded as legitimate by Constantinople. He may have been recognized by Odoacer. 
Italy remained under Odoacer and his Kingdom of Italy, and then under the Ostrogothic Kingdom. The Germanic successor states under Odoacer and Theodoric the Great continued to use the Roman administrative machinery, as well as being nominal subjects of the Eastern Emperor at Constantinople. In 535 Roman Emperor Justinian sent an army to retake Italy which suffered 20 years of disastrous war. In August 554, Justinian issued a pragmatic sanction which maintained most of the organization of Diocletian. The «Prefecture of Italy» thus survived, and came under Roman control in the course of Justinian's Gothic War. As a result of the Lombard invasion in 568, the Byzantines lost most of Italy, except the territories of the Exarchate of Ravenna, a corridor from Venice to Lazio, and footholds in the south Naples and the toe and heel of the peninsula. References Further reading Potter, Timothy W. 1990. Roman Italy. Berkeley, University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-06975-7. Salmon, Edward T. 1982. The Making of Roman Italy. Ithaca, Cornell University Press. ISBN 978-0801414381. Watmo, Joshua the Foundations of Roman Italy. London, Methuen and Company. Lomas, Catherine. 1996. Roman Italy, 338 BC AD 200. New York, St. Martin's Press. ISBN 978 0 312 16072 2. Lonero, Alessandro. 2011. Peasants and Slaves The Rural Population of Roman Italy. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1107004795. Hin, Saskia The Demography of Roman Italy. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-107-00393-4. Clark, John R. The Houses of Roman Italy, 100 BC AD 250. Berkeley, University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-07267-7. Lawrence, Ray 2002. The Roads of Roman Italy, Mobility and Cultural Change. London, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-16616-0. External links In Italian, Geographical Regions in Roman History, Italy.